Good day class. Welcome to Scholar Universal Online class. You are welcome to another week. And on, for this week, we'll be looking at simple equation. You want to look at the meaning of equation. What is an equation? An equation is a mathematical statement that says that two things are equal. That is, if you have certain value at one side, at the left hand side, it must be equal to another value at the right hand side. For example, if I have three pencils and five pencils, it's equal to eight pencils. And we can also express this in a mathematical form. That is three pencils plus five pencils equals to what? Eight pencils. The value at the left hand side is equal to the value at the right hand side. Now with the sign of equality, it connects the left hand side statement to the right hand side statement. That is the essence of this equality. So it's the one telling us that what we have here is equal to what we have here. Now, for any algebraic expression that is having an equality sign, it refers to what we call it an equation. Let's look at this example. We are asked to balance this span. Here we have five number of ties plus three ties. On the other side, one side is missing, but of it we have another two ties. You will see that if you have this five plus three, it gives you what? It gives you eight total number of ties. That means the number that we need to add up to two to give us eight is the number of ties that is missing here. Well, let's assume that we have eight here. Then let's move the eight to this side. Maybe the pan will be balanced. By the time we move 8 to this side, if you count this number of ties, you will see that it's 8 ties. 8 plus 2 will give you 10. Wow, that is the reason why we have a shift in the balance of the ties. You will see that the pan have adjusted. It's not stable. Which means the number of 8 here and 2 is more than what we have at the left hand side here. Why not taking 2 to the opposite side? That is subtract 2 from both sides to know the exact value that is left here. So by the time you take 2 to this side, you will have 8 minus 2. And that will give you what 6. Which means it is 6 number of ties that we have here. When you add the 6 to 2, it will give you 8. That is what is at the right hand side is equal to what is at the left hand side. Come and let's see this. So we have 5 plus 3 to be what? 8. And we have 6 plus 2 to become to be equal to what to be equal to 8. So what is at the left hand side here is equal to what is at the right hand side here. That is the reason why this pan is balanced. So this is an example of simple equation. What is at the right hand side must be equal to what is at the left hand side. And I want you to carry this mind along to answer the remaining questions. Look at these examples also. X plus 5 is equal to 20. 3y is equal to 5 over 4. 12 minus m is equal to 8. g divided by 4 is equal to 5. All this equation, we need to show that what is at the left hand side is equal to what is at the right hand side. Here we are to find the value of x. And for this one, we are to find the value of y. That is what is here. You multiply 3 by a certain number to give you 3 over 4. Likewise, this one, you divide a certain number by 4 to give you 5. What is that number? And here, you subtracted a certain number from 12. It gives you 8. What is that number? So by the time you are able to get all this number, it will equate this side to be equal to this. And it will equate what is here to be equal to this. So all these are examples of what an equation. Now, what are the components of simple equation? From the example given to you here, you will see that we have left hand side. We also have another side, which is right hand side. So the expression at the left hand side is one, and the other one the expression at the right hand side. Then there is something that links them together. We have equality sign. So the expression on the left hand side, the expression on the right hand side, an equality sign. They are all component of simple equation. Do I make myself clear? So let's look at all this example together. There are methods by which we can use to solve equation, especially simple equation. 
we have balancing method and we also have connecting the light terms method but we are starting with balancing method now the diagram i showed you the other way time is an example of balancing method this is an example of balancing method we are asked to make this span to be balanced so we are looking for the value that will make this side to be equal to this side so let's move on to the example example one is 4y plus 3 is equal to 13 4y plus 3 is equal to 13 let's look at the solution 4y plus 3 is equal to 13 this y is standing for what is standing for a particular number which we did not know and that is what we are all looking for so 4y plus 3 is equal to 13 we need to take away this theory from this side in such a way that we will be left by 4 we will try all possible means to reduce the equation that is at this side to y so let's take 3 as what we need to solve for now what we need to do here is to add minus 3 to both sides so that when by the time we say plus 3 minus 3 it gives us what it gives us is 0 and what we are able to perform on the left hand side we should be able to perform it on the right hand side so the next one is subtract 3 from both sides so we have 4y plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 13 minus 3 by the time you have 3 and minus 3 together it gives you 0 so you are left with 4y 13 minus 3 is what it is 10 now we need y i said y not 4y we need to take away this 4 from this side how can we eliminate this 4 from this side then we need to divide both sides by 4 by the time you divide both sides by 4 4 divided by 4 will give you only y which is this and 10 divided by 4 is what 2 number 1 over 3 the second example 46 is equal to 5x minus 7 we are focusing on this side because that is where we have the unknown this right hand side so what can be performed what can you perform on this minus 7 to turn it to 0 minus 7 you need to add 7 to it if you add 7 to minus 7 you will have 0 at this side so let's move on add 7 to both sides 46 plus 7 is equal to 5x minus 7 plus 7 mind you i told you that the operation you perform on the right hand side must also be the operation you will perform on the left hand side so minus 7 plus 7 gives you what 5x because this one has already turned to 0 46 plus 7 is 53 the next thing is to make x to stand alone as in the subject of the formula make s to stand alone because that is the value we are looking for that is the value that was multiplied by 5 to give 46 so 5 here we need to divide both sides by this 5 so by the time you divide both sides by 5 you have 53 divided by 5 to be equal to 5x over 5 now this one has already cancelled this you have x how many 5 is in 53 that is 10 over number 3 over 5 is that taking I believe you are all working along with me so let's look at c 4 minus y over 2 is equal to 2 subtract 4 from both sides take this 4 to the other side you know by the time you take this 4 to the other side to be minus 4 here so since you know that it's minus 4 here then subtract that 4 from all the sides so here you have 4 minus 4 minus y over 2 is equal to 2 minus 4 so you have minus y over 2 to be equal to what? Minus 2. Minus 2. The next thing is to multiply both sides. This y minus y over 2 is the same thing as minus 1 over y. y minus 1 over 2 times y is equal to minus 2. So what is the inverse of minus 1 over 2? It is what? It is minus 2. So that is why you are multiplying both sides by minus 2 so that this minus 1 over 2 will be eliminated so minus 2 times minus 1 over 2 we cancel minus 2 
divided by minus 2. That gives you what? Look at it. Minus times minus 2 over 2. So these two, we cancel 2. Here you are left with y. Come to this side. Minus 2 times minus 2. The, I told you that the operation you perform on the left hand side must also be the one you will perform on the right hand side. So you are multiplying both sides by minus 2. So that minus 2 times minus 2. Minus times minus is what? Plus. And 2 times 2 is what? 4. So at the end of the day, you have your value of y to be what? To be 4. So if you try to substitute this 4 into your initial equation here, it must give you 2. Is that taken? So let's look at another example here. Example D. X over 12 is equal to 1 over 4. X over 12 is equal to 1 over 4. Here we want to take away that 12. That 1 over 12 rather. In order to have what? In order to have X to stand alone. So X over 12 is equal to 1 over 4. So multiply both sides by what? By 12. So you have 12 times x over 12 is equal to 1 over 4 times 12. This 12, we cancel this 12. Or you have 12 times x over 12. That is 12x over 12. And you have 1 times 12 to give you what? 12. And 4 times 1 to give you 4. So this 12, we take care of this 12. You are left with x. How many 4 is in 12? 3. Which means the value of what? The value of your x is 3. If I put 3 here on my equation, I will have 3 over 12. How many? If 3 divide 3, I will have 1. And 3 in 12, give me 4. That is to tell you that this equation here is equal to the equation on this side. Is that taken? So from the example given to you, I will also like you solve this yourself. Applying the methods we use in solving those examples and attempt this assignment one. Welcome to lesson two of simple equation with brackets. So we want to solve equation that involves brackets. The first equation is 3 into a plus 2 close bracket is equal to 21. The second one is 4 open bracket x plus 6 close bracket minus 3x is equal to 25. Number 3c of it is 7k minus open bracket 2 minus k close bracket is equal to 0. And the fourth d, d is 5 into 1 minus 2m close bracket minus 3 open bracket 4 plus 4m close bracket is equal to 0. We are going to pick this equation one after the other and we will solve it. The first solution, 3 into bracket a plus 2, close bracket is equal to 21. The first thing you must do is to open your bracket because there is no way you can perform any operation on this without opening brackets, following the rule of your board mass. So remove the bracket by using this 3 to multiply through. 3 times a, 3a. 3 times plus 2, 6. Is equal to what 21 subtract 6 from both sides because I want 3a to stand alone or a to be precise plus 6 is what I have here that means I must take this 6 to the other side so subtract 6 from both sides by the time I subtract 6 from this side it gives me 0 so that is the reason why I said subtract 6 from both sides so 3a plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 21 minus 6. By the time I have subtracted this, I'm left with 3a is equal to 15. Before, because 21 minus 6 is what? 15. So the next thing is to look at how this a will stand alone. So what is the number that is attached to 3a? To a? That is 3 times a. It is multiplication that even connects it. So if multiplication connects it, you need to use division to separate it. So you divide both sides by 3. 3a divided by 3 is equal to 50 divided by 3. And the value of a is what? 5. If you choose to check if your value is correct or not, let me put 5 for a. 5 plus 2 is what? 7. And 3 times 7 is what? 21. Next one. Back. Okay, we have 4x plus 6 minus 3x is equal to 25. 
I told you that the first thing you need to perform here is to open your brackets. Open the bracket by using this 4 to multiply what is inside this bracket. And that is what? 4 times x, 4x plus 4 times 6, 24. Do not make a mistake of just multiplying 4 and x alone. The 4 is meant for x and is also meant for 6. So by the time you open this bracket, we have 4x plus 24 minus 3x is equal to what? 25. Then subtract 24 from both sides. Because of what? You have 24, which does not belong to this xx. So you need to take this 24 to the other side. And how can you turn the 24 to 0 here? You need to subtract 24 from this plus 24, which you know that plus 24 minus 24 will actually give you 0. So we have 4x minus 3x plus 24 minus 24 is equal to 25 minus 24. So here you have 4x minus 3x equals to what? 1. And 4x minus 3x is what? x, which is equal to what? 1. And we have solved for that example. Let's look at the C part. We have 7k minus 2 minus k. Y2 minus k is in bracket and is equal to what? 0. Open the bracket. 7k minus 2 plus k is equal to 0. Look at it. Minus 2. Min you assume there is 1 here. So minus 1 times 2 minus 2. Minus 1 times minus k. Minus times minus give you what? Plus. So 1 times k give you k is equal to 0. Here we have minus 2. If you look at the values that are here, we have 7k, we have k, we have minus 2. Of it all, you see that minus 2 did not belong to any of it here. Is minus 2 having k? No. So because of it, we are moving it to the other side. How can we move? This is minus 2. We need to turn this 0. And the operation we perform here must also be performed here. So we have 2 to both sides. We have 7k plus k minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 plus 2. So therefore, we have 8k is equal to 2. So divide both sides by 8. So by the time you divide both sides by 8, you will have value for k. So 8 cancel 8, you have k. And 2 over 8 gives us what? 1 over 4. Another example. This one is having two brackets. 5 into 1 minus 2m minus 3 into 4 plus 4m is equal to 0. The operation we have been performing on the previous one of, like this one that is having single bracket, is still the same operation we are going to perform on this. And the first thing, open the bracket one by one. Use 5 to open this first bracket. Use minus 3 to open this second bracket. Now let's see. 5 times 1, 5. We have minus. Bring down your minus. 5 times 2n, 10n. Minus 3 times 4, minus 12. Minus times plus, minus. 3 times 4n, 12n is equal to 0. Right? So, the next thing here is to collect like terms. Bring those ones that resemble each other together. 5 and minus 12, they look alike. It's not having the value of n. Minus 10m, minus 12m, they all look alike. Can you see that? So, 5 minus 12 is minus 7. Minus 10m minus 12m gives you what? Minus 22m to be equal to what? To be equal to 0. Then there is minus 7 here. We need to take it to the other side so that we'll be able to get value for our n. We only want m to stand alone to represent a number. So now let's add 7 to both sides so that this side will turn to 0 here. Minus 7 plus 7. Minus 22m is equal to 0 plus 7. I told you that the operation you perform on the left-hand side must also be performed on the right-hand side, or balancing method. So minus 7 plus 7 here is 0. So you are left with minus 22m. 0 plus 7 gives us what? 7. We are going to use, we are going to divide both sides by coefficient of m. And the coefficient of m is what? Minus 22. So we have... Minus 22m over minus 22 is equal to minus 7 over 22. So by the time minus 22 cancel minus 22, we have m. So therefore, the value of our m is what? Minus 7 over 22. So, 
we want to look at solution of equation by collecting like terms. We have used, we have solved for the balancing method. So here we want to look at collecting like terms method. Here are the equations that we are going to use for this example. The first one is 2m plus 5 is equal to 4m plus 7. The first step is to collect the like terms. Bring the one that are like together and the one that are like again to the other side. If you look at this, I have 3m here, 4m here. And be mindful of your sign. When any sign is crossing the equality sign, it changes to the other. So now, 2m, I want to take 4m to the other side. Then now we have 2m. By the time plus 4 is crossing this sign, it will turn towards minus 4m. I have plus 5m. I have plus 5 is equal to 4m minus 4m plus 7. So 4m here, we turn towards, we turn to 0. That's 4m minus 4m. The arithmetic, the, the, the function I perform here was what I also performed at the other side here. So let's take 5 also to the other side. That is what subtract 5 from both sides. So minus 2m plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 7 minus 5. This 5, um, because it's plus 5 here, so I'm also subtracting 5 from here and also from here. So here, the 5 minus, plus 5 minus 5 returns this to be 0. So I have minus 2m and 7 minus 5 is 2. So divide both sides by what? By minus 2. Minus 2m minus 2 is equal to 2 minus 2. So when you divide both sides, put minus 3. That is the coefficient of m. So m will be what? Minus 1. Example 2. 4 into bracket y plus 3 is equal to 6 into what? 6 into y minus 1. Open the bracket. That should be our first operation. 4 times y, 4y. Plus 4 times 3, 12. Plus is equal to 6 times y, y. 6 times minus 1, that's minus 6. What follows is to collect like terms on one side. So here, I'm taking this 6 to the other side. And it returns to minus 6. Do you know the reason why it's minus 6? It is plus A. By the time it crosses to this side, the sign change from plus to what? To minus. I have 12 A. I'm taking it to the other side. So it will be what? Minus 12. So here, I have 4Y minus 6Y. Plus 12 is equal to minus 6. Let's first express that. So by the time you subtract this from each other, you have minus 2y. So taking 12 also to the other side, I have minus 6. That is already here. And minus 12. At the end of the day, minus 6 minus 12 gives me minus 18. So minus 2y is now equal to minus 18. You need to divide both sides by quotient of y. And what is the quotient of y? That is minus 2. And we have minus 2y over minus 2 is equal to minus 18 over minus 2. The value of our y is what? Is 9. This is another example. 4, and we have 3 brackets A. Don't get scared. It's so simple. So let's try to open it together. 40 into A minus 1 minus 45 into 2A plus 1 is equal to 12 into A minus 2. So you open the bracket one after the other. 40 times a, 40 a. 40 times minus 1, minus 40. Minus 45 times 2 a, minus 90 a. Minus 45 times plus 1, minus 45. 12 times a, 12 a. 12 times minus 2, minus 24. So we have tried to open all these brackets. So what follows is to collect like terms. You can see that we have just two values here, the one of A and the one that did not have A. So bring the one of A to one side, the one that did not have A to the other side. So I'm bringing the size of A to this left-hand side and the one that did not have A to the right-hand side. So let's see it. 40A, I just rewrite it here. Minus 90A is already here. And it's only 12A that is crossing this equality sign. Then it will be minus 12A is equal to... 
40 cross this inequality sign to the other side we have plus 40 minus 45 crosses to the other side we have plus 45 we already have minus 24 here so by the time you add when you subtract it you have to subtract 90a from 40a minus 12a all this gives you minus 62a and 40 plus 45 is 85 minus 24 that is 61 you divide both sides by the coefficient of a and the coefficient of a is what minus 62 so it will be what 62 minus 62a over 62 is equal to 61 minus 62 this one is minus 62 please so that minus and minus cancel and we have minus 61 over 62 if you substitute back your value it will give you the same value for this side will be the same for this side okay this is your second assignment just follow the previous example that we just did now and follow it step wisely you will surely have a way to this let's look at lesson three calculate the value of the figure below this is an example of what an isosceles triangle and for an isosceles triangle the two opposite sides are what they are equal that is this side is equal to this side and that is how you are going to perform your mathematical value on that solution the figure in an isosceles is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides i told you that the two sides is one side is equal to the other side so 5 plus 5y this is what i mean this side 5 plus 5y is equal to 7y plus 3 so and that is how it's been expressed here 5 plus 5y is equal to 7y plus 3 so collect like terms taking y 7y to this side we have 5y minus 7y is equal to 3 is already here take 5 to the other side we have 3 minus 5 so by the time you subtract we have minus 2y is equal to minus 2 right so divide both side by quotient of y which is what minus 3 minus 2y over minus 2 is equal to minus 2 over minus 2 that means the value of our y is equal to what 1 you can check if your value is correct now if i substitute one for y here and we have five plus five times y one is equal to seven times one plus three five times one is five so five plus five is ten seven times one is seven plus three ten so that means ten is equal to ten so what that means is that this side is equal to this side so any form of equation you see of this form that is the same method you are going to perform on it so this is an example I mean, this is an assignment three. You just need to calculate for the value of B using these methods. Now, we want to look at what problem involving simple equation in this lesson three. We want to look at how we can confirm, uh, com, com, how we can convert waste, waste problem to ordinary mathematics mathematics form example one five is subtracted from three times a certain number that is we remove five from three times a number the result is the same as when the number is doubled and added to nine find the number well let the number be what the x i will say five is subtracted from three times a certain number so three times x is equal to what three x 5 is subtracted from 3 times. That is, 5 is removed from 3 times. So, 3x minus 5. Do not say the result, that is, is equal to the same as when the number is doubled. That is, the x is doubled. 2 times x. And added to 9. That is plus 9. So, the, you can see that we have already gotten our simple equation from here. So, the next thing is to collect like terms bring 2s to the other side take minus 5 to the other side when 2s crosses this equality sign it turns to minus 2s when minus 5 cross to the other side it turns to plus 5 so we have 3s minus 2s to be what x and 9 plus 5 is what 14 you can check it out by substituting 14 to anywhere 
you see the value of x. Find the area of the rectangle below if perimeter is 108 cm. Wow! We are given perimeter and we are asked to find the area. And we are given a rectangle. We are given the length. We are given the breadth. So let's look at this. We all know that the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into what? Length plus breadth. Now, we are given the value of our perimeter to be what? 108 cm. And we are given the length from the diagram to be 6s minus 2, while the breadth is 4s plus 6. So we need to equate this, substituting all this value into this equation. P is 108 is equal to 2 into what? Length. My length is 6s minus 2 plus breadth 4s plus 6. Open the bracket. You know when you see bracket, the first thing you will do is to open the bracket. So 108 is equal to 2 times 6s, 12x, minus 2 times minus 3, 4, plus 2 times 4x, 8x, plus 2 times 6, 12. Collect like terms. Bring those of x to one side and the one that you don't have x to the other side. So here I have 108 minus 4 cross to this side turns to plus 4. Plus 12 when it cross to this side, it is what? Minus 12. Then I have 12x plus 8x. 108 plus 4 minus 12, it, it is what? 112 minus 12 is equal to 20x. Then I have 100 is equal to 20x. So divide both sides by the coefficient of what? Of x. That is 20. So 100 over 20 is equal to 20x over 20. By the time 20 cancels 20, you have x. And how many 20 is in 100? That is 5. Which means the value of your x is what? Is 5. Now, we have gotten x to be 5. We need to substitute that 5 for x in the given length and breadth. You know our length was what? 6x minus 2. So when you multiply 6 and 5 together, it gives 30 minus 2. That is 28 centimeters. This is the value of our length. Now, the breadth is 4 times 5 plus 6. 20 plus 6. It is what? 26 centimeters. Now, what is the formula for the area of rectangle? Length times breadth. 28 centimeter for the length and breadth 26 centimeter. If you multiply this, you have 728 centimeter square. And that is the area they ask us to calculate for. This is the last assignment for. Please try as much as possible. Attempt it and try to subscribe to our YouTube Thank you for listening. Yes. Come to school in the business of my class.